hello everybody now that we are done with you know merging the data and doing feature engineering feature selection on the merged data it's time comes to do the analytical work right so let's just have a look there are some useful variables which i observed let me just show you that you know contract status let's see this name contract status so if you have a look at this variable name it says contract status approved cancel etc so this is simply telling you previously when the the current applicant when he previously had applied what happened with his application that's what it is simply telling you okay so uh, this would be having the value like approved cancel refused unutilized etc 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 okay other other than this so this is something which i will be using in this analysis okay now other than that if you see we already have a variable which we say target variable okay this is very much useful which simply says whether the customer turned out to be a default the current application customer okay whether he turned out to be a defaulter or a repair okay now after that there is one more variable which is uh let's just say cash name cash loan purpose what was the purpose for which the loan was applied so this is in previous data set right in previous data frame we have a variable which simply tells you that for which purpose customer had applied the loan and the variable which i just show you contract status that tells what happened with the application okay now let's just filter out all those variables which we just highlighted so three variables this name con name cash loan purpose what was the purpose for which cash loan was taken what happened with that application in the past and currently in the current application data set when the customer got the loan utilized the loan what he did did he turn out to be a defaulter or a repair so these are the three variables which are going to be focusing on primarily over here all right let's just start with this now over here let's just say sns dot i will simply create a count plot sns dot count plot and data equals to most df and over here on x-axis i will be plotting let's call it this one name cash loan purpose and in the hue i want to put this status which will simply tell us what happened when he had applied for this purpose and over here this will simply create the plot now after that we need to do some sort of decoration let's say plt uh, rotation we will have to perform the rotation otherwise it will just overlap each other okay plt dot x sticks let's say and rotation equals to 90 degrees it will simply rotate the labels at x axis okay now after that plt dot y scale we also need to use log in scale otherwise you know the values would not be very clear all right let's just try to plot this and let's just see what how does it looks okay so this is going to take some time i'll pause the video and then we'll uh, resume once it appears all right everybody so we got our plot created over here so while the video was on pause i added one more line just to make the plot little bigger and clear okay so if you see over here these are the contract status okay let me make it little more bigger so these are the contract status which means when customer had previously applied either it was approved cancelled refused or unused okay so now let's look at the data so if you see in the data what happened these are the purpose for what what was the purpose for which the customer had previously applied for the loan here there are two values which you see xap xna just ignore that we don't have clear definition for that now if you see others after these two if you see then repairs is repairing is the purpose which was given the highest you know which had highest amount of you know low uh, application rather we can say and out of that the same category had highest number percentage of 
I could say the percentage but still if you see over here this orange line it shows the cancellation right so in this segment proportionately the application applications were immensely cancelled okay so we can say that repair purpose uh, was something where, where the application were mostly cancelled and this was the segment which had most number of application after that if you see there what else do we have like you can see over this one as well then this one this also has more number of cancellations and if you see then uh, what is the red color unused offer so unused offer in other segment also many of the applications were approved but i mean many of the applications were unused people uh, didn't utilize the approvals or maybe the loan sanctions or something like that they didn't went ahead for the offer okay those turned out to be unused okay now what else that we have to see over here buying a new car that is also one thing and uh, what else that we have these are the things which we see mostly available okay so let's make the inference out of it what is it that we observe over here where we observe repair is the segment which had maximum number of applications and the cancellations for the repairing purpose repairing purpose for the repairing purpose customers had applied mostly previously previously and the same purpose purpose has most number of cancellations okay this uh, on this we will get more clarity as we progress so this is something where we saw what was the purpose for which the customer had applied and what happened with that now let's see whatever cancellation happened for example if you see here we have four categories whatever uh, status was previously right whatever this decision was previously taken on a particular application what happened when customer applied again right let's just try to figure out that kind of solution okay sns dot count plot again and in this this time we are going to use data of course it will be it will remain same most df and on the x-axis this time we are going to use name contract status and in the u we are going to use this time target you see now this time what we're gonna get is this chart will tell you whether what what happened when previously customer had applied and what happened he again when he again applied for the loan right i mean not applied for the loan when he took the loan after that okay like usual it is again taking some time so i'm going to pause the video and we will resume again all right everybody so here we got our plot now let me just make it bigger and what you see over here previously the applications which were cancelled or refused if you see in the current scenario most of them in fact we can say uh, approximately more than 80 or 90 percent of them are turning out to be repair right so it's we can make a inference that it's not necessary when the customer was previously cancelled or refused a loan right he will turn out to be a defaulter always right so what bank can do is whatever cancelled applications or refused applications were there in the previous segment can reanalyze that and try to offer the loan to the bank okay so let's just write this most of the most of the applications which were previously either cancelled or refused 90% of them 80 to 90% 80 to 90% of them are repair in the current data you can say right this is one uh, decision we can make over here if you want to see this in terms of number what you can do is you can say merged 
df right dot group by and in this what you can take is this variable name contract status and let's put it in the quotes and in here what you can put is target and then you can say size and here we got it all right so here you see the uh, here it simply says whatever applications were previously applied out of that these many are repair and these many are defaulter let's try to convert it in terms of percentage okay we will try to convert that in terms of percentage for that let's first do reset index and let's see what happens this is how we get then let's just rename it rename columns and over here i will just rename one column which is zero and i will say counts right let's just see this is what we get and i will just store this in a table let's call it merged aggregated okay and this is something which i'm going to put over here now i need to convert that into the percentage so what i need to do is i need to take some of these two and then divide each of these two separately so how can i do that for that what i can do is i will just say most most agg dot group by group by and inside that what i'm going to use is this variable all right over here i'll use this variable and then over here i will take counts and on that i'll perform some let's just see what happens okay this is what we are looking for reset index index over here all right so this is what we got now what i need to simply do is i will merge both of these two i'll i'll just store this in a sum df i'll just say sum df and then i'll merge both of these two and then i'll divide and i'll get the percentage okay so what i'm going to do is uh, let's just say pd dot merge and in that i will say merged agg comma sum underscore df and then how this is going to be left on this particular variable right now let's just see how does it looks like yes we got it as we wanted so we will say merged agg most agg let's say call it 2 okay merge agg 2 and in this this is what we get now we just need to find the percentage of it so what we can say is let's create another variable let's call it percentage and after that what i can do is i will simply say merge this if this is if this if, if this is something which you find boring you can just watch this in 2x speed and then maybe you can or if you want you can skip this part as well right because this is just taking uh time so i'm just trying to tell you a way how you can find the percentage of this right so this will give you the decimal places that you can fix by doing a round and in that over here i will just use two decimal places and then i will just try to print this all right guys so what we see over here in the cancelled 90 percent of the customers turned out to be repair nine percent turns out to be defaulter in refused 88 percent turns out to be repair and 12 percent turns out to be the defaulter okay now there is one more analysis which you can do you can include purpose into this i i insist you to do that yourself you can include purpose over here and you can see in the cancel segment for what purpose customer took the loan previously who turns out to be the repair this time okay previously they were cancelled but they are turning out to be repair this time that's something which i insist you to do yourself okay 
right so this is something which is giving us a picture in terms of numbers clear picture in terms of numbers all right so this is what we can conclude mostly 90 percent of the customers in all of the cases except refused in all of the ca cases 90 percent of the customers are turning out to be repair in case of refused only 88 percent of the customers are turning out to be the defaulter so almost we can say 90 because 88 percent is quite close to 90 percent right so if you take average it will turn out to be 90 percent so we can say 90 percent of the customers turns out to be the repair even if you take a cancelled refused and unused offer in that also all right so looking at the unused i just got one more idea what we can do is we can check out one more thing sns dot okay let's just make inference out of it though we have already written that let's just start let, let that be okay sns dot let's create a line plot and in that we are going to use data equals to most df the original one okay and over here on x-axis i am going to use this one and then on y-axis i am going to use the income variable okay let me try to find the income variable this one amount total income this variable i'm going to use on y-axis so this will tell me what is happening okay this can turns out to be all right so we will just try this this can uh, be because you know when we merged that this can turn out to this can turn out to be not giving the appropriate information but let's just see what does it have to say and in this line plot you get chi square created by default so i'm just going to say it none okay and let's just see All right, so while the video was paused, I added one more parameter, which is this, okay? Now here, what we see is, let's try to observe this. Here, what we see in approved and canceled and in refused, we mostly see the customers are repaired. But when it comes to unused, previously where the offer was unused, customers are highly defaulting into that, despite of having high income band, okay? Despite of having a high income band, they are turning out to be the defaulter. So the offers which were previously unused, now in current application, they are turning out to be the defaulter. So this is the conclusion we can make over here. Previously offers which were unused previously, now have maximum number of defaulters despite of having high income band customers all right so this is our conclusion all right so now what we're gonna do is i'll 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 you know just keep it till this point only right because still there are many variables and if we want we can perform many more analysis and we can do much more out of this data we can find many other inferences which i highly encourage you to go ahead and do but for now i am going to keep it till this point only now this is a lot right so out of the vari out of whatever variables we have approximately how many variables let's say must df dot columns and let's take a length of this so we have 70 variables right and using 70 variables these are the and uh, insights which we have derived right we will keep to this point only now in next video what we're going to do is we're going to summarize all this analysis and try to reach to a conclusion out of it okay but if you want to do more analysis you are most welcome to go ahead and explore the other variables you will come up with very effective strategy out of that okay but my i'm going to keep my analysis till this point only and in next video i'm going to summarize this all and will try to take you to a conclusion thank you very much for watching the video once again wish you very good luck